What's going on guys? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash and today is August 7th of 2017. So guys, as you all know, if you watch my videos or live streams on my channel, you know that I love getting feedback about what coin or token I should cover next. And guys, I was completely shocked last night after I ran my questionnaire on my live stream that you guys wanted to see a coverage on Ripple. I would have never guessed it, but what's really nice, guys, is the stars are kind of aligning here with this one. Not only am I relatively optimistic on its fundamentals, which I'm going to be talking about, but also I have a wonderful investment idea that I think could really pay off in the long term for you guys. So... That being said, we're going to be covering that investment idea. We're going to be talking about how I think the price is at a pretty decent level to buy. We're going to be talking about the team, the tech, the objective, and the market that Ripple's trying to take over. But as always, guys, we've got to jump into the numbers first. So let's go ahead and get started on the analysis. First off, Ripple is standing at the third most valued cryptocurrency in the world. And I can see why. Not only has it been adopted for quite some time, but it's definitely... Uh, being adopted by corporations as well, not just being simply in existence for a long time. So we can definitely see that it's got a good market cap here. We're sitting around a 6.9 billion, almost 7 billion in valuation. Uh, we can see that the volume is nice and consistent, guys. Um, and we can see it's sitting around with 62 million traded in the past 24 hours, guys. That's pretty pretty extensive uh, trading volume. And we can see that the circulating supply is about a little over one third of its max supply at 100 billion. So guys, I know a lot of you would be worried about this. You might be thinking, "Oh God, my, you know, I'm only we're only at one third of the supply. Uh, you know, that's going to dilute my the valuation of my Ripple." Guys, that's relatively true. However, the reason why I don't fear it is it's so early on in its adoption. Guys, even with massive corporate partners that it has, we're going to be talking about that in a little bit. Ripple is so early on in the sense of adopting into this multi-trillion dollar market. I don't think we have anything to fear with this, guys. And in fact, we should just remain optimistic that it has a $100 billion cap on its supply. So, guys, what is Ripple exactly and why am I so optimistic on it? Let's not wait any further, guys, and let's look into it. So, guys, as always, I, I tell you all, a, a cryptocurrency for it to be adopted needs to have a beautiful site. And seeing as Ripple's been around for a while and it's one of the more valued cryptocurrencies, I can see why they have a wonderful website. So, guys, what is Ripple? Well, before I jump into it, I want to make sure that if you guys still don't get, you know, what Ripple is at the end of this video and you want to get a really good visual representation, I always say it's so nice to have a video on their website, guys, really to help demonstrate what the technology is, what the objective is, and what market they're going after. And they do a great job of it, guys. So check that out if you don't get it at the end of it. However, let's jump into a nice little analysis, and I'll give you guys the best description I can talk about. So in the world of all things finance, banks, and huge lending institutions, money transfers go on day by day by day, and it is global, guys. It's a global network of transactions, and a very tedious, slow, and expensive one at that. Um, finance on a daily basis transacts hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars, between different channels around the globe. And like I said, guys, it can take days upon days to get the settlement through. Uh, it can take expenses of upwards of trillions of dollars in annual cost. You can see 1.7 right there. And there's lots of high fees. It's unreliable. And it's just, like I said, guys, it's inefficient. It's a market that needs to be fixed. We'd actually recently covered Populous, which covers with invoices and makes it a lot quicker. Uh, however, this is an even larger industry, and it's one that needs to be fixed, guys. So... Banks are trying to cut down costs, they're trying to cut down uh, the uh, transaction fees, they're trying to also uh, cut down the transaction time. There's a big need to fix this, guys, and Ripple is here to fix that. So let's look at Ripple's first technology to fix this. So the first target market they're trying to fix is for banks and this whole kind of uh, transaction market. And I think that it's it's immensely powerful, guys, seeing as we have $155 trillion in cross-border transactions annually. So they've got a really cool system for this. And this is what's known as RippleNet, okay? So RippleNet is what they use in the sense of blockchain technology to make fast, quick, easy transactions at a cheap cost. And you can see that they've got the benefits laid down there, but I'm going to go in even more detail, guys. So... The sense of access, they make sure that you can access the technology on a multitude of platforms for multiple banks to use it on a multitude of devices such as your phone, tablet, or computer. Along with that, the speed is quick, guys. Uh, last time I checked it, I think they stated that it was around 5 to 10 seconds to send a transaction, and they can do over thousands of transactions any given second, guys. That's immense, and that's powerful, and it's definitely enough to meet the need for global markets. So, 
Very impressive on that end, guys. Uh, there's certainty, which means that uh, a transaction will not say it's confirmed unless it is confirmed on the blockchain. Um, and they have checks and balances system on the blockchain, just like most other cryptocurrencies to certify transactions. And last but not least, guys, the biggest selling point that is going to attract business partners into this is the reliability of cost. Guys, the cost is much lower than a normal bank transfer and transaction. We're going to go ahead and look at that. Um, oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, we got to go to the this one right here, yes. Uh, calculating cost savings and new opportunities. Guys, they have a wonderful graphing tool here that has a bar chart that shows how much you can save uh, on annual transactions. So you can scroll along here if you have a number of annual transactions. And uh, you know I think this would really attract any kind of bank. Let's say for example, we have a million transactions. We could save over $3.51 per transaction, guys. $3.51, that is huge. Bringing costs down from 740 on average down to 389, that's the blockchain technology at work, folks. This is immensely powerful. So, guys, and you can also do it in dollar values down here as well. You can drag it over, and you can also calculate it. Look at how much that would save us, guys. Immensely powerful. So, just incredible stuff, guys. I'm definitely optimistic on Ripple. And this is the cool thing, guys. These aren't the only bits of technology that Ripple is offering through its blockchain technology. Xcurrent uh, is uh, more focused on the finance side, and then we have Xvia, which is a, a, verifying, uh, a, verific sorry, a verification and um, tracking system for payments across a global network um, of customers. And it can be used for both finance and also corporate partners as well. So people who are you know, running corporations uh, that are outside of the finance sector, which is really interesting, guys. So the tech is there, it's being used if you guys don't believe it, we'll go back here and we'll look at some of the corporate partners. They've got over 90 plus customers and growing each and every year, guys. And some of these are big finance partners, guys. You can see they've got UBS, uh, Unicredit, RBC, Westpac. A lot of these are really big finance heads, guys. And I think they're going to continue to adopt their technology. And I think the fact that you see banks like UBS who are taking this in is huge, guys. Uh, with how early this is, it is amazing to see big names taking it on like that. And it shows you that there's a use case for this. So, guys, now that we've looked at the tech, we see that there's the adoption with it. Let's look at the team, guys. So, we can't see the full team off the website here. However, we can definitely see a good team of the leadership. And uh, it looks like we've got some pretty good leading industry professionals here uh, who are uh, leading at the forefront of really making Ripple stand out. And the other thing I really want to talk about is its investors. Guys, the fact that you have uh, you have companies like Accenture, Seagate, and you also have organizations like Google Ventures. I mean, this is big stuff, guys. Big money is getting pushed into this. They also have a board of directors for the uh, kind of the investment side and uh, I guess monitoring and decision making of Ripple and its technology. So this is awesome. And Ripple is hiring, guys. They've been advertising that a lot. So if you want to go work for the team at Ripple, you like what it's uh, doing, definitely go out there and reach towards them, guys. I think this is pretty big, guys. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the banks, but I will say I definitely love to cut costs as much as the next guy. And uh, in cutting those costs, guys, you'll learn that it helps us if we can reduce those costs on the blockchain. Uh, a lot of those transaction fees, we've got to pay if we want to send money as consumers. So Ripple is bringing that cost saving and time saving as well and cutting out all the middlemen who make profits in this process. And it's bringing a one-to-one -one connection between users and also corporate finance individuals through the blockchain. So this is really great, guys. Now that we've talked about all that, guys, I would love to hear about your optimism or negativity in the comments about Ripple, hear your guys' opinions on it. However, before we end this review, guys, I want to take a minute or two to talk about a wonderful investment opportunity I see on Ripple. So, guys, I'm here on Bitrix looking at the Ripple chart. And as I said, we've had a decent pullback in Ripple, guys, a very, very stellar pullback from its highs. However, as you guys know, I use very simple technical analysis and chart patterns to understand good trading opportunities or good investment uh, buys for the long term. And guys, Ripple is no exception right now. It's like I said, the stars have kind of aligned here in my coverage of Ripple. Uh, not only am I optimistic on it, but the price action is looking very nice to finally get a buy-in, guys. We can see I have the 200 day, uh, 200 SMA. Right now I'm looking at the daily chart, so it's the 200 daily moving average. Uh, 
Now, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, I definitely recommend going to watch my crypto trading for beginners video, and that'll help you understand what the moving averages are. However, guys, nonetheless, this is an indicator that it's probably time to buy for the long term. We've had a very nice seller pullback on it, guys, and it looks like Ripple's ready to run over the next few months. With continued adoption, guys, I think on the fundamental side, Ripple's doing okay. It's completely fine. I don't see why the sell-off has been so drastic, but I think it was simply just to pull back to the 200-day after such a drastic run-up, guys. We really are still at high levels comparative to its lows down here, uh, and but I think I can understand why that is in the sense of fundamentals and adoption. However, on a technical side, guys, this looks great for a buy. It looks like it's relatively holding towards the level of the 200-day. And if we can see it hold here for the next day or two uh, and maybe see a little bit of a bounce off, guys, I, I would definitely say that this could be a very good opportunity to make an investment in Ripple for the long term. And maybe if we continue to see adoption, guys, and in advancements in the tech, we could see a revisit of the highs, which would mean this would be a wonderful return for Ripple. Now, are we going to make it there quick? I, I don't think it's going to be that quick, guys, but I definitely could see us getting back for almost a 100% return at the 10,000 Satoshi level over the coming weeks. I really see it, guys. I think this thing has been a little oversold, and I think with how crypto optimism is coming back into the markets, guys, I think we're going to see this run. So... Are you guys going to embark on this trade? Are you guys optimistic on Ripple? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. You guys get a coin or token you want me to cover. I'll try to get to it as fast as I can. I'm getting a lot of recommendations from you guys, and I'm enjoying it every single second. So, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.